it comes to art, recent studies show women remain underrepresented and undervalued in museums and galleries and auction houses across the world. In fact, a data analysis of 18 major U.S. art museums published in Plus One found that their collections are 87% male and 80% white. Well, this morning, one rising SoCal visual artist is hoping to change that stat by one day having her own work on display at a prestigious museum. But for now, she's painting her own story and helping others along the way. Whether it's this portrait illustration of LeBron James in Time Magazine or one of her life-size murals, chances are you've seen the works of Victoria Casanova. <laughs> I've been doing art my whole life. The visual artist has range in painting, illustration, and digital art. She's designed posters for Spike Lee's To Five Bloods, Disney's Pixar Soul Illustration, and Netflix's Trial 4. I mix a lot of textures, and some stuff is a little bit um, messy or chaotic, but then other parts are focused, so I like to create controlled chaos. It's a part of my healing. Um, it's a cathartic thing for me, but it's also, I feel, me wanting to contribute to the world in some way. Casanova, pictured here, had her first dance with art when she was just two years old. By the age of 20, the self-taught artist quickly turned her passion into a promising career. What most people don't know about Casanova, she almost lost her life back in 2015. Three, that's good when she fell off the fire escape railing five stories high from her Hollywood apartment building. She broke her spine, suffered brain trauma, and even had to learn to walk again. It's a miracle that you're still here. Yeah, for a few times I thought I wouldn't be. I'm not supposed to be here, but I really survived, and I'm really grateful for that. She has since made a full recovery and now sees her work as a way to heal not only herself, but others. I want to contribute to something that is bigger than myself, whether that be a social justice movement that I believe in, women's rights, um, Black Lives Matter. At the beginning of February, Casanova painted a mural in honor of 15-year-old Latasha Harlings on what would have been Harlings 45th birthday. The teen was shot and killed by a shopkeeper in South LA after she was accused of stealing a bottle of orange juice. I feel that that story was really overlooked. The female aspect with police brutality and, and racism is often overlooked, um, especially with black women. And her being a young 15 year old, I feel like that whole story was really overshadowed by the Rodney King incident. You know, it's no secret that we're divided when it comes to race, politics, uh, gender issues, you name it. What role can art and does art play? I feel like art can just speak to different people in, in more conceptual ways, different ways, deeper ways than just a simple set of words or a statement or an opinion. Words can reach so far, but I feel like art kind of bridges this farther gap. Oh my, not just an amazing artist here, but an amazing soul as well. Casanova is prepping for her first solo show right here in LA, scheduled for spring of 2022. But guys, just think about everything that she had to go through and that she's experienced. And I mean, you can't even tell that she was in that accident there that, that nearly cost her her life. Uh, yes, it's incredible what she's overcome and her talent is just incredible. I've seen her work before. I'm so yeah. glad we were able to learn more about her. You would have never known. No, yeah. you would never. She's resilient. Yes. Yes, she is. Such an awesome story. Thank you for sharing, DeMarco. Thank